Hello, hello, friends. This is Grace here at The Comfy Nest with Grace, and I'm getting ready to do the first ever box opening for my craft crate. So this is a new service I just added to The Comfy Nest offerings. Every month, if you'd like to join us, you'll get a live workshop where I teach us um, everybody to do the project, and you'll get a box of goodies with the supplies that you need for this month's exclusive project. So the project is unique and exclusive just for the members. So let's look at what's in this first month's box. Now, I want to say that the, the ladies who joined um, in the launch month, um, that they, it was a secret for them. They did not know, and you will not know when you enroll, what your project will be your first month, every month. It's a surprise. That's part of the fun. And I've gotten some responses. Now, the ladies who signed up for this first launch month, they've gotten their boxes. They've opened them. So um, the project has been revealed to them. I do not want to ruin the surprise. Um, but they said there was this element of being like Christmas. They didn't know what there was in their box. They didn't know what the project was. So they were super excited to get it and to open it. And now looking forward to our first meeting, which is a live workshop we'll do this Sunday. So in a couple of days, um, the, the project will be done live via Zoom. So everybody can connect and see each other in the group. Um, great way to make friends with like-minded crafty chicks. Um, and to get to know each other and to see each other's projects, which is going to be incredibly fun. Um, and um, on Facebook in my Crafty Chicks Club, which is my free craft community, um, my hope and goal is to stream that live inside that group so those folks can see it and enjoy the excitement, even if they're not a member, and um, encourage them to join because there is this element of... Um, you know, it's a it, it's a gift that you can give yourself. Um, give yourself the gift of fellowship and fun and regular, like a regular meeting with like-minded ladies, like a little mini craft retreat every single month. The supplies come to your door and then we meet and we do the project together. Um, even though, you know, these ladies are coming from all over the United States, we can still meet and get together via Zoom and create and craft together. So let's take a look what's in, it. What's in the box. It's so fun. Okay, now when they got their boxes, this one box obviously hasn't been mailed out, so there's nothing on the outside. It hasn't been, um, no stickers or anything like that. Their box was um, adorned on the outside with a little handwritten note from me. Every box will have that at this point. The group is small enough and intimate enough that that can be the case. When they open it, the first thing that they get, and theirs was in color, but this one's black and white, um, they get their list of what's inside the box, the supply list of things that they'll need to gather for our meeting. The meeting is always the fourth Sunday of the month at 7 p.m. Central. And the video recording is available for anyone who can't make it to the live event, the live workshop, you guys will have the ability to like catch up with it later and watch it later and do your project later. So no worries there if you cannot make it any particular month after you've joined. Um, so I'll go through all of this with you, but it tells them what's in the box and what's not in the box that they'll need for the project. And those are like, you know, scissors, a pencil, the, the basics, the, the real basics that you would need for um, crafting. So let's do it. Okay, so there are a couple of things that I added into the box that were just for fun, and then there's the bulk of the, the material that they're going to need for their project. So I'm going to go down the list. The first thing that they're getting, um, there's this packet, and my family and I had a lot of fun. It was like a little um, assembly line in my dining room putting these together, uh, but let's get it opened up. So this little packet has the bulk of what they need for the project, and um, cleverly packed inside um, it's all, you know, packed with bubble wrap, so nothing's going to get um, messed up on you when you get it. But there are some supplies in a baggie. Uh, we'll go through those in a minute. But the first one on the list, because I'll just go down the list make sure I don't miss out on anything, is their 8x8 palette board. Um, this is from Nix the Media. And this is a palette board. Um, you can see it's got the four. And I love that it's like a grayed and um, washed out look to it. Well, we're going to cover some of that up. You, you'll see the project at the end, but they get their mixed media palette board. They're getting a smaller wood frame for the project. Um, so this is their second part. Um, let's see. They're getting two pieces of decorative scrapbook paper. They only need one. 
They only need one and they only need two strips, eight inches long each. Um, but what I wanted to do was to give you guys, I want to give the members options. So instead of sending you one color, one design, one type of floral, you're getting two double-sided pieces of decorative paper. So you can choose the floral that you or the design that you like most for your project because this will give you guys the opportunity to choose and have some of your own um, preferences come forward. Rather than just sending everybody the same color of paper and same floral, you have four choices here. So I love that. I love that I'm able to give you guys that customization for your own project. So they got two pieces of heavy cardstock, double-sided, 12 by 12 paper. They only need two strips, eight inches wide. So they're going to have a lot of extra here that they can use for other projects. They're going to get, or they get, they already got, this is just the first month. And this is what's so fun and exciting. They got a tape runner, um, full tape runner. Um, so obviously they're going to use a few inches of this and then they'll have the tape runner to use for other projects. That's really every month you're going to get new supplies that you can hold on to. You'll use some of them up. Like you'll use the two boards. You won't get to use those. Well, you might get to use those again. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but the other stuff, like the, some of the tools, you'll get to use in other projects beside the craft crate project. Um, so they get their tape runner. They're getting a roll of 100 temporary glue dots. They'll need maybe three or four. They're getting a roll of 100. They're getting a sanding block. Again, we're going to use this just for a very short, brief minute, but they're going to get to use it on any other projects later. They're going to get, they get six feet of raffia. They need a couple of feet, but I wanted to make sure no one ran out. Um, and then it gives you extra supplies so that if you want to do more on your project than what I had planned and what I'm going to show you, you could do more on your project. They're getting um, a sprig of greenery for their project and they're getting a full sheet of sentiments by Tim Holtz. These are sentiment stickers. Um, they say things like start doing things that you love, choose to shine, make it happen. Today is full of possibilities. There are 30 sentiments here. They need one. They're going to need one for their project. I suppose they could use more if they want to because I'm giving them a full sheet of 30. I love this. I love that I can treat you guys to all these extra goodies that you can use on projects later. And sentiments, they're such a great way to pull um, an art project or a creative craft project together. Um, so they're getting 30 of those sentiments. Um, and then I sent everybody... Sweet treats. Ah, they're getting some Hershey Kisses and some caramel candies there so that during our time, well, hey, they could eat it before, but during our time together, they have some sweet treats to snack on. That's just, again, just, I love, I love, I love, I love to treat and to like, I, I want you guys to be like, oh my gosh, <laughs> something fun and that I wasn't expecting in my box. That, that just brings me so much joy and it's a double whammy because I'm hoping it brings each one of the members joy as well. Okay. What is not included in the box, and there are a couple other things in the box that I'll talk about in a few minutes, but what wasn't including in their box that they're going to need for their project, and they're very basic. I'm just going to go through this real quick. I don't send paints. I'm not going to send paints in the mail. There's the freezing issue. I live in North Dakota, and we're coming out of the coldest season, but during the coldest season, when I planned this project, I was thinking, gosh, the weather will really affect the paints. So no, I'm not sending paints in the mail. We have the weather affecting them. And then of course, the um, danger of them exploding, which I have heard happening, like explosion, paint explosions inside craft boxes um, in the coaching groups that I belong to and the membership groups with other creative business owners, how many of them are moving away from sending paints for that reason. So no paints. You Paints are really easy to come by. You can buy them in the really small... Um, little like $1 containers and it's two ounces of paint, which will, you know, you'll get a lot of longevity out of. Um, so two paint colors of your choice, a couple of paint brushes, just brand, you know, I give them a suggestion for what size, but um, they're going to need a couple of paint brushes that I don't provide a cutting tool for their paper. So they can either use scissors and a ruler and a pencil, or they can use a cutting tool if they have an actual cutting tool for crafting a glue gun, um, a 
they're going to need a flathead screwdriver for this project. Something, again, something basic that you have around the house anyway. They're going to need, I use Huggies, you know, like any kind of like um, wet wipes for your hands just to clean yourself off when you get that little bit of paint or glue on you. Um, so wet wipes, a rag, and a small glass of water for their paintbrush. And they're going to need some sort of four by four photo to fit inside the frame or a design element. And I'll show you what I mean when I show you the project. This is the project that we're completing this month. Oh my gosh. Live and in color. This is the project. So you can see in my four by four frame, I did not use a photo of a person or my pet. I don't have a pet, but you could put your pet in here. You could put a quote in here. I put a couple of butterflies that I thought were really cool. You can put anything that you want in here. A picture of your home because you're especially proud of it. It could be anything. Something four by four that you're going to put and that I don't provide. It's personal to you and it's going to become really meaningful to you once you use it. So you can see two eight inch strips of decorative paper. That's all they're going to need for the project, but I've given them four options. They have their two boards, they have their sprig of greenery, they have their raffia, they have their little word, my words say, be your beautiful self here. Um, they have 30 to choose from. Um, and then the sanding block for when we paint this, the glue dots and the glue gun, that's something for us to talk about during the workshop because I like to give options. I like to reuse my stuff. So here we talk about, you could make this project with your two boards absolutely permanent and use your glue gun or you can use your temporary glue dots, which is what I've used to adhere this to the board. That way I can take it off later and change it up because I get bored and I want to, I may want to change this up. Um, like maybe at some point, you know, you have a new grandbaby and you want to put grandbaby's picture in there. You sure could take this off. I'd like to give you guys that option to make it temporary so you can take it off, put a new photo in and then get it back on there. So this is the project for the first month of my craft grave. And now, this box is not available right now. It was available to the uh, um, in. It was available in. Let's see. It's February, so it was available in January. Um, everybody who got this box signed up before the end of January. They got their box in February, and now um, in a couple of days we're going to do the live workshop. Okay. If you want to join us for March, you need to sign up before the end of February, which is the twenty eighth in two days. So don't miss out on your chance to join us. It's a monthly subscription. You sign up, you put your credit card in, and then every month you will get charged on the first of the month for that month's box. But you can cancel or you can skip a month anytime. That's totally up to you. When you enroll, you create your own account and then you can go in and make any adjustments as you see fit when you're ready to do that. As long as you do it before the first of the month, when the new invoice um, or when the new credit card charge will hit your credit card, okay? So don't miss out. Go to mycraftcrate.com. You can read all about it, get all the details. You can um, ask any questions by commenting here on this video or you can email me from the website, mycraftcrate.com or just reach out to me if you're on my text list service or if you have my email address, you can just reach out to me and I'll answer any questions I can. That's the gist of it. Let me show you a couple of the extras that I added. So this month, this February month is the launch month. I have been dreaming up this offering for the Comfy Nest followers for at least a year. I joined a coaching group about membership boxes and to teach me how to do this, to how to offer this to my followers, I joined that group probably six or seven months ago, and it has taken me that long to get the, the gumption up and to get my ducks in a row to be able to offer this to you guys. So it's a very special first month. It's the launch month. So all of the folks who joined this very first month got some extra goodies as a thank you. These are my thank you gifts to the founding members. They got a craft mat. I use my craft mats all the time. So this is a Teflon um, non-stick heat resistant craft mat that they can roll out. It's 16 inches by 24 inches, so it's large. They can roll it out and it will protect their table. Now, you can use newspaper, you can use cardboard, you can use whatever you have on hand, a plastic, you know, Dollar Tree or, you know, Dollar Store um, table cover. You can use whatever you have on hand. This craft mat is a special gift to the founding members. Also, they got as a, as a spe special founding member 
gift. They got a keychain, which says my craft crate on it. Um, just something special to let them know how much I appreciate. I have extras of these and I will probably and likely be doing um, giveaways for the members every month. That's my plan is to do giveaways and to do birthday treats during your birth month. I love to treat. I love it. I love it. It's like, it's, it's just so exciting to be able to share my love of creativity and crafting and all, all the goodness that comes with it. Um, so I got some extras of these. So, um, even if you weren't a founding member, this, this little treat, they may be coming to you anyway through giveaways um, once you become a member because the giveaways will be part of our monthly fun. Then everybody who joins, when you join your first month, you are going to get a craft journal for my craft crate. And we'll talk about this during the live workshop and how I'm hoping um, or some suggestions of how you can use this in your craft journey, your creative journey. So those were the extra treats this month, um, besides the little candy treats. And just the excitement of being um, a founding member. I thank you all. There are 30 of you who joined right away when I introduced this. And I'm, I'm so proud of this um, offering. And I encourage you all to consider joining. It's $47 a month. The shipping is included in that. Your tax is included in that price. Every month, you'll get a box like this of goodies to do the project. You'll get a list of uh, supplies that are not included that you'll need, and they're pretty basic. If you are already crafting and creating, you probably already have or will have acrylic paints on hand, a paintbrush on hand, and a glue gun. Those are pretty common things that most crafters already have on hand. Um, the wet wipes to clean your hands, um, scissors. Those are, those are things that don't necessarily need to be included in the box. I'd rather use that budget, that money to give you other supplies like two sheets of um, scrapbook paper so that you can choose from and a full sheet of 30 words to choose from. I'd like to give you more meat <laughs> and new. I want to introduce you to new things that you can use in your craft life. What that's going to do um, by having the instruction and the step-by-step from me, the instructions step by step for me. I've already planned it out, I've tested it, and it's ready to go for you. It takes the guesswork out. You don't have to worry about will this work? I've already tested it. You don't have to come up with the plan. I've already done that. Um, I've already created the options for you, and I'll walk you through them in the step by step for making it truly your own and very, um, you know, so that it reflects you personally with your color choices and your paper choices and your word, your sentiment choices, things like that. Um, it comes straight to your door. You don't have to go to the store to buy the supplies. You don't have to worry about will they fit together. You don't have to worry about which glue to use. I've already tested them all and I tested many to figure out which was the most appropriate for this project. Um, you don't have to figure any of that out. I've done it all. You get the box. You meet me on Zoom once a month. And we have our treats, whether it's the treats that I shared, or maybe you're going to pour a hot cup of tea, or maybe you're going to have a glass of wine, and we're going to sit, and we're going to create, and we're going to giggle, and we're going to get to know each other and make friends um, through My Craft Crate. So check it out at mycraftcrate.com. I invite every single one of you to join us. Try it for a month. You can cancel any time. And don't be afraid to message me if you have questions. I'm so excited about, about it, you guys. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day and that you sign up soon. Now you have two days left to get in on the March box. And if you decide to wait, the next option will be to do the April box at the end of April. So don't wait. Just sign up now. All right. Take care. Bye.